Hi YouTube. So today I am here to record a quick video for Love and Hip Hop New York Season 6 Episode 10. I have no idea what the title is, but um, let me just dig into this. Side note, I did want to do the review last night, but you know, life happens. So that being said, I'm going to go ahead and start off. It started off with the Creep Squad, of course. Peter Guns, um, Cisco, and Rich. And, like, they really could have kept this scene, to be honest, because it wasn't anything major. Cisco was basically just being sensitive, and they exchanged apologies. And I personally just think that maybe they wanted camera time. Okay, but anywho, moving on from that, then we see, like, Young B in the studio with Yandy. Okay, Young B, sorry y'all, my hair is bothering me. Okay, Young B, she's like something like a midget. <laughs> and like, I'm really not trying to offend anybody. I think that she's like extremely like pretty, but she's like, she seems really short in real life, just looking at her on camera. And so sometimes like her like being like grown and stuff, it just doesn't seem quite right because she seems like she looks like a little kid, but just with a body basically. But anyways, um, she's really preparing. Um, Yandy has faith in her again. They're picking out dancers for the Gwen and Fest, and I'm like, oh, she's doing it all up. I thought they were just like, like, just rapping, like nothing major, but you know, whatever. Okay, moving on from that short scene, here's another very short scene with Cardi B and Self. Now, you guys know that I love Cardi B, I like her personality. I think that maybe um, we all maybe expected a little more out of her in the season. Um, she's come off as like more like they put her in there for comedic relief. And it's like really hard to believe like her storylines and things. So like if you ask me personally, I don't think that her and self ever had anything going on. That was strictly just for TV. Um, it's really hard um, to create like a relationship storyline around her because her boyfriend is in jail. So whatever the case, they meet up. She says she's serious about her music. Um, they, as in Self and Cardi B, she's serious about her music. She wants him to listen to her tracks. Why doesn't he support her? She, he should be playing her songs on the radio. And he's like, well, you need to give them to me on a flash drive and this, this, and that. Okay, well, all I'm saying is, hypothetically speaking, if you actually had relations with her, then why would you never take the time out to listen to her music? I mean, Stevie J listened to Jocelyn. That says a lot, right? Like, not that she's actually, like, great, but, like, you at least can, like, owe her that much. I mean, Rich listened to Erica Mina, and, like, she was not an artist at all, to be honest. So you could at least do like that much for her. But whatever the case, they weren't in a real relationship or they had no type of like connection in that regards. Anywho, he was giving her pointers on how to be an artist. Okay, after that, BBLG. Um, starts off this scene, BBLG, I think they were at um, Mo Mess's house, so, Mo Mess, let me just start by saying her hat, like, it really bothered me, like, and I know you guys probably think, like, oh, you always have something to say about Mo Mess, but, like, she kind of comes with mess, she, she kind of started off the wrong way in this show, she could be a very likable person, I suppose, but from the things that transpired in tonight's episode, and then, like, when we were first introduced to her, she, they, like, just didn't make her a likable character. I'm sorry. I absolutely hated her hat. It was, like, a bucket hat, but then it was, like, a cross between, between money and tropics, and I, I don't know, but it was horrible. Lexi... I think that she's very a very pretty girl. I do not. I'm not here for her um, confessional look. Like, her wig is, like, way too wiggy. Like, it's too much hair on this little person. But whatever the case, they're going back and forth um, saying Def Jam is going to be at the Gwynnon Fest. And, but Def Jam is not interested in them as solo artists. They're interested in BBOD. 
So um, Lexi is like, well, you know, I met with French Montana and I don't know. I'm just going to have to see if I want BBOD to get back together. Well, she knows going to well she wants BBOD to get back together because if she has any shot at Def Jam and getting a potential record deal with them, then we already knew she was going to perform. Okay. So basically, they get back together in that scene. Okay, next scene was Remy and Ma, they're at the wedding shop, and um, Remy, as soon as she came on camera, before they said anything, I'm like, she's like melting away, like she's shedding pounds like that, and I, I really think that she <laughs> should do some type of like weight loss thing, like on her like Instagram, or do, do something, because we've literally watched her in one season of Love and Hip Hop go from stuff to snatch, and I'm not trying to be funny, like, at all, like, she still looked good when she was bigger, she was just, like, super, super, super thick with it, but now she's, like, getting, like, snatched, like, real quick, but, you know, she has a motivation, her wedding is coming up, her husband loves her regardless of what her size is, like, loves her down to, like, the last, like, drop of, melanin in her skin like and that says a lot because she has a lot of melanin in her skin like myself and he loves every single part of her so it's not like she she must clearly just be doing it for herself and she wants to look a certain way for her wedding and I commend her I have been there done that need to get back to it <laughs> okay um next oh so basically she's telling Remy is telling Ra like you're gonna have to lose some weight because um, all my bridesmaids are gonna be skinny, and you're a bridesmaid, and she's like, what, Rob was like, what, I only got, like, what, like, maybe, like, 10, 15 pounds to lose, and we was like, okay, no comment, anywho, so, um, like, everything else was, like, turned around, like, for the great, like, she was talking about, like, how, like, basically, she wasn't doing, like, good, like, as far as her relationship with her sister, Remy, um, but, Pap has helped them work that out. Her sister's going to be in the wedding. And then here comes Ra with good news, being that um, Remy's dress is in. So she's very happy about that. Okay, next scene, really sad. Peter Guns and his daughter, Whitney. Um, so apparently Amina told Whitney everything before Peter got the opportunity to tell her. And I personally think, like, I understand that Amina has a relationship with Peter's daughter. Um um, also known as Tara's twin. I, I realize they have a relationship, but I feel like Amina should have allowed him to relay that information to his daughter, especially considering, um, like the effect that it had on her emotionally. I feel like that moment should have been shared with her father. So anyways, um, she, she thinks he's spreading himself thin. You have all of these kids. There's no way you can give, um, each kid, a, enough time because you keep having more and more and more. Um, they, and then he asked her, how do you think that, um, his, my ways have affected you? So she immediately starts crying. So clearly this is something she's thought about. She's basically like, you know, you're a really good guy. I don't actually think you have bad intentions, but really like you, you may have a problem and you need to just figure it out. And I think, could you consider a vasectomy? And he's shocked. He's like, that makes me feel like less of a man. Well, you know what? Somebody has to tell you because you can't be out here next thing you know, you have 15 kids and you're only one person. You don't have enough time for all of them. And it just seems like it's just nothing to you. Like, I think it's like very irresponsible. Do you have money to pay for 15 kids to provide? Okay. Or time in itself. But anyways, so she says, you should make that decision for your children, not for the women you're with. Because clearly he can't even make up his mind on what woman he wants to be with. Okay, Mendeecy is starting a sneaker line, um, which is great because I think he's just basically trying to get things set up so that when he goes off to um, prison, at least maybe he can leave behind some like source of income for his family. Um, Yandy talks about him about baby mama miscommunication, and they'll get into that more in detail next week's episode. Cardi B, Mariah Lynn, Cardi B was in the studio, and Cardi B, like, I actually really liked her song, like, I don't, I don't really know the words, but it sounded good, so I think that that could get some play on the airwaves. Um, 
um, self didn't ask Cardi to perform. So she's like, I'm not out to bring a crowd of people out and help to make his event like, you know, bigger and bring a bigger crowd because he didn't even think to ask me. Okay, so that's that. Um, she doesn't know about her boo Tommy in jail because he doesn't support her dream. Then Mariah comes with the hot piping tea that is spilling over. So she comes with the tea basically showing that uh, Momes got a restraining order. No, Momes, a.k.a. Um, the Big Bad Wolf, as she likes to think that she is, um, she was huffing and puffing and trying to blow the house down with Young B. It didn't work. Young B came right back at her. So what did Mel Mess do? She went straight, um, to get a restraining order. So that kind of messes up her, like, tough, like, exterior that she tries to present, like, publicly because, the, um, what did, um, Mariah Lynn call it? A bona fide snitch. So, yeah, she was like, I have this tea. I'm going to spill it um, when it's when it's time to serve. So that should be interesting. Okay, now to, like, the real, like, major part of the episode would be the Gwinnin Fest. Now, the Gwinnin Fest, it really bothered me to begin with because I feel like if there were important people there, um, like Def Jam or even, like, um, Mano and Remy and Rich, like, these are people that could potentially sign these artists. So, if you are Ra Ali, you should leave the drama at home. Like, this is work right now. Like, you're not just hanging out at the club on camera. Like, this is legit work. And this management thing is new to you. So, I feel like you should have put any pettiness aside for the moment. She sees, Ra sees um, a girl in the club by Yandy. Apparently, this girl had, like, a standoff with her and her girls at Starlets or, or Scarlets or something like that. Some like New York City strip club. And Yandy was in the building at the time. So she thought like Yandy is setting me up. She brings this girl here. And basically it seems as if they have unfinished business and Ra wants to get back at her. Okay. Her exact words were, I wrote it down. What did she say? Um, well, first, when she first sees her, she says, oh my gosh, I'm petty as ever. Okay. Then she, in her confessional, she says, my artists are getting ready to grace the stage, but respect is much more important to me. So what you're telling me is this hood stuff, this unnecessary stuff is more important to you than making money, than helping your artists succeed. Perhaps your artist may be like a label or somebody may be interested in them, but they don't want to deal with the management. Perhaps... Um, your artist may just drop you because you come with drama. Like the same stuff they complain, um, with Mo Mess about, like the manager is doing that. Like, I, I, I don't understand that. And she goes right over to the girl, no words or nothing. You can tell she's real salty about whatever happened, snatches her up, like has like a Ciroc bottle in her hand. Like, what are you really trying to do? Like, this is crazy. Like, this is work. Like Yandy said, leave that hood stuff at in the hood. Like, whatever happened in Scarlet's, leave it at Scarlet's. You see her a different time, a different place, perhaps not on camera either, then you take care of that. But right now, you are supposed to be a professional. You are supposed to be in a management position. You are supposed to be there to support your girls. Meanwhile, you're not there, and your girls are backstage about to fight. But their manager is not there to manage them because you were stuck on some petty stuff. Like, that really bothered me. It really bothered me. She tells Remy about it. Remy is like, mm, let me go speak with Yandy about this. The girl claims she doesn't know her, but clearly that's a lie. And Yandy was like, I wouldn't bring drama here. Now, I can honestly say from all these seasons of Yandy we've seen, besides the season with... um. Um, Jim Jones and Chrissy, Yandy is very professional. So I really don't think that she did that on purpose. Um, but anywho, um, BBOD performed. They were all right. Mariah Lynn, the lyrics are never good, but it's really catchy. You're like, man, it didn't take her much to write this. But then later on in the day, you're singing the song in your head. So her lyrics are great for radio. Um, Young B, very professional performance. She was, like, performing and dancing at the same time. I thought it was great. I personally think that um, she should win. She has the look and everything. I think she's very marketable. 
Um, anywho, um, oh, so the big part, Mariah Lynn spilled the tea backstage, like, front and center, would you like some of this hot piping boiling tea? You've tasted it before, but today you might not like the flavor because I'm serving it to you in front of your people that you like to front in front of. Um, and like Young B is like laughing in the background, like she already knew it was the restraining order. And like, Mo just gets like really mad and basically like tries to like fight her to show like, give herself some street cred again, but it's not working. So whatever the case, they like split them up. We still don't know who the winner of the Gwen and Fest is. We will find out next week. Sounds like the judges were trying to um, decide on either BBOD. Well, actually, they talked about Bianca BBOD and Mariah Lynn. Some of them were swaying more to towards BBOD. So we shall see. But anywho, I know this was a long review. I hope you guys got through it. Please like, comment, subscribe, and visit me on my website at www.mrsblogaholic.com. Bye.